Rob, Scotty Pippen, Scotty uh, likes to run his mouth, and we like that. That's what we always he tell former players, right? He jumped into the media, right? right? We yes. talk to, right? We say do it something. all the time. You got to say something, otherwise they'll replace you, okay? That's right. Seriously. That's right. I mean, if just, you just get up there and you're, you, you're praising your friends and you're not calling it like it is, right? So, everybody doesn't play well all the time. Right. Everybody doesn't coach well all the time. You call them out. Call them out. It doesn't have to be personal. Guy right. makes a bad play. You say he made a bad play, Chris. That's if a right. coach didn't put the right players in the right circumstance, say it. That's yep. all. Yep. It's strategy we're talking. It's it's their play on the court. Nothing personal. No family. No kids. No wife. No what they look like. It's none of that. This it's okay. So and Scotty. A, oh, go ahead, Rob. Right, and and I'm just saying a lot of guys can't figure that out and it costs them Chris like they they can't stay in the business so Scotty I, did he make a pick Rob G um I don't know that he made a pick no he just said that the okay. heat have he said the Miami, edge yeah he said Miami has the edge I don't know where he gets that from but he said Miami has the edge he thinks they've got more offensive weapons that they'll be able to throw at the Lakers but here's what we want to get to the the meat or or big thing that he said. He said, I don't take away, I don't take nothing away from the Lakers and LeBron going to his 10th finals. He, meaning LeBron, still has to prove he can lead a team himself. I think Anthony Davis has shown he's more valuable to them on the offensive end. But I think Miami has more offensive weapons, as I said. They'll be able to throw at L.A. Now, Rob, I, 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 I'm sorry. Scottie Pippen is just flat out wrong. Scottie Pippen, I don't know if he's making up for the time when he said that LeBron was better than Jordan. Remember, that, that was is, like that 10 years ago. That didn't even last ago. long either. Right, Remember and that he after. backtracked quickly. Yes. But um, you think Mike called him? You think MJ picked up the flip? What? I do. Like, what? <laughs> Text what? at least. Dude, um, you're not coming to another golf outing. Right. You know those Jordans <laughs> that come to your house for you and your family? That's stop. Your sons, as right. you never have another pair of Jordans. Right. No. Um, not a free pair, at least. <laughs> right, right. Um, but come on, Rob. E- even Skip. Even and you're you're in that you know you're viewed as a LeBron. I know you don't like the word hater, but you're viewed as a LeBron antagonist. Let's put it that way. I'll take that even, word. Hater right, is too okay. strong. Yeah, for me. yeah. But even you admit, Scotty, did you not see Cleveland? Did he not lead a team to the championship? Did he not prove it by leading Cleveland to the championship? So I I think that's ridiculous. To say Anthony Davis means more in the offensive end than LeBron, I mean, yes, he's the leading scorer. Who's getting all the assists? Who's setting there? Who's running the offense and still giving you probably two fewer points than AD a game? And so, and, and this is what I want to get to, Rob, before you chime in. Scotty is not, this is a pattern for some reason. Like, Scotty Piven, obviously, uh, I, I'd say, belittling LeBron. Paul Pierce tells us LeBron is not in his, was it top five or top top seven at least? Top, yeah, top seven. Not in his top seven. Kenny Smith says LeBron was not in his top ten. And Charles Barkley doesn't have LeBron in his what, top five? Top five. So we got Barkley, LeBron's not in the top five. Pippen, LeBron's never led a team to a championship. Paul Pierce, not in the top seven all time. Kenny Smith, not in the top ten. Here's what I'm throwing out, Rob. Why the disrespect coming from, and I think it's disrespect. To say he's not in the top ten, come on. Uh, Where is this coming from, from these ex-players? And here's the part, Chris, and that's really weird. There is something there because which we're not talking about. And, and in about, fairness, Rob, Isaiah Thomas has him second, I think, to, to Kareem or and, maybe first. And, maybe and, first. And, 
and and even Isaiah, but the, here's the problem, Chris. This is what we talk about all the time. Th- I think this is why players can't always be objective in the media because they have a stake in it. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like the Isaiah thing, he'll never pick Michael Jordan. He, <laughs> they, he hates my. I'm serious. I, I mean, look. Am, am I right? Jordan like, like, kept him off the dream. To, for all the accolades Isaiah have, even me. I'm upset that Isaiah wasn't on the dream team. Same with me. You know, I've, I've like, said it all the time. It's just not because because it diminishes a, yes. an absolutely great career, fifty all time greatest. We talked about it over and over. But yep. but this is this is a pattern, Chris, and it's shocking for a guy who's put in so much work. Everybody says his teammates uh, like him or love him, whatever term you want to use, and. Could wind up being the all-time leading scorer. He's got uh, all these other accolades to go with it. Top five assists. Yep. Right? And all the other things. But there's some, there's some rub there that players don't respect. And we've seen it with the greats who refuse to even acknowledge him. And they would pick Kobe nine out of ten times. These guys would pick Kobe over LeBron. We have talked about how we're a little bit surprised how most that we've talked to. Yeah, not all. Most, not, all. not nine out of ten, but but most players, ex players we've talked to have said Kobe. And here's the other part: when the players finally got a chance to vote for the All Star Game, and we know Chris is just an exhibition. It ain't the end of the world. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't rate or tell you what, how great you are or not. But I can't remember the exact number. Over a hundred and fifty players left LeBron James' name off the All-Star. <laughs> Not valid. That's now, Chris, asinine. seriously. Right. Now, come on. What does that he say? Have, he should have not been left off one ballot. Right. How, how is that possible? So when people always push back and say, oh, it's the media, they hate LeBron, they don't want LeBron to win, they did Skip Bayless, Rob Parker, Rabbit, all that. Ask yourself why Scotty Pippen, Kenny Smith, <laughs> Charles Barkley. We could go on and on. Paul Pierce. It ain't one. It's a lot of right. guys. Why? Now why? Pierce, as you you alluded to, we know Paul Pierce yes. was. He, he got an axe. He was a contemporary. Yes, he was a contemporary. Yes. Those other guys didn't LeBron. play against LeBron, right? Right. He beat LeBron. Yeah, LeBron's younger, right? And Paul, I don't know if I ever told you this story, but when you know, after the Lakers won the championship in 2000, I'm not the Lakers, the Celtics with the big three won the championship in 08. And Pierce, who was the Finals MVP, he said that he thinks he's the best player in the world. You know, we, I led their team to a championship. I was Finals MVP. I'm the best player in the world. And I said, I don't know if, I don't think it was, I was even tweeting at that point, but I said, I don't even think he's in the top 10. Yeah, yeah you mentioned that, and then he got in contact he with He texted you. me, right. you ain't in my top 10 local reporters. And I, it was funny to me, but and my you were point like, is. And I ain't local. I don't right, work right, in Boston. I even I'm local. national. <laughs> but, so Paul, I think, has an ax to grind with LeBron. And, you know, like you said, they were rivals. They were contemporaries. They had some wars. And so I get get it. I do, but, too. But, I, Rob, the only thing I can imagine this might stem from is that players don't like, at least some of these players, these legends and older players, they don't like the way LeBron did it. You know, Michael Jordan obviously took a moribund franchise and built him into a dynasty. The players of that era stayed put. Bird, Magic. You know, Kareem forced his way. People forget. He forced his way from Milwaukee and he ends up with the Lakers. But for the most part, guys stayed put. And I, that's the only thing I can point to because obviously when LeBron did go to Miami, he got criticized heavily. Um, so I, that's other than that, I can't imagine these dudes are looking at LeBron play and saying he's not one of the top ten of all time. So I, I just think even if it's subconscious, they don't respect that. That's that's all I can think of as to why some of these guys are. 
I, or uh, shortchanging it. I have to I have to agree with you because it's not like he doesn't play hard. He doesn't put right. in the work. Uh, you know what I mean? Like some things come easy to some people, Chris, and people can – other players could not respect that. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't right. do all the things you're supposed to do. So that's not it. Uh, teammates like him. You don't hear people saying, you know, he's selfish or he's right. this or he's that uh, for the most part. So it has to be that, that they didn't like, that he felt not and, – and people got to understand, it's not being against free agency. Free agency has always been around. Uh, Tim Duncan and, and, and uh, Grant Hill almost went to Orlando, right? Yep. They, they were right. free agents. Right. So it's With not McGrady. that. With McGrady, yeah. Exactly. McGrady. So it's not that. It's the way that it kind of was manipulated. And to he stack built the that deck super team, yes. Exactly. Yes. And it's different from Boston. It's not the same. Boston had to give up players to, to get, you know, to get players in exchange. So it looked, it's looked at differently, Chris, than, than people joining via free agent where there's nothing given up. That's the only difference. Player generated. And, and I get it. I, I get it in that, you know, Boston was stacked. The Lakers, you had Kobe, and he had Gasol by that point, and Bynum. Remember, Andrew Bynum was a good player at that point. And LeBron couldn't get a second guy to Cleveland. And so he he just built what he needed to win, and obviously now that's all the rage. Kevin Durant did it. You know, uh, Kawhi did it. And so um, – yeah, but I, that's all I can think of, Rob. I, I, I can't imagine what else it could be. Why do you guys think that some of the old heads, we think, I, I mean, Rob, I don't know what else to call him, but shots at LeBron. He's not in your top 10, Kenny Smith. He's not in your top five, Charles Barkley. He's not in your top seven, Paul Pierce. He hasn't led a team to a championship, Scotty Pippen. What? So what do you think? Why, why is this happening? Very good question. It it is it is it was it's awfully amazing. It it really is for a guy who's accomplished so much, Chris. You know, I I mean, it, it's weird. It's one thing to say, okay, you pick Michael Jordan, but you're leaving him out right. of the top ten. I mean, that's a deliberate <laughs> like, like I'm disrespecting you. Yes, you, I'm disrespecting right. you. Right. That's what I'm doing. Uh, Ryan in Cincinnati, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio, and if they could have gotten. One hit today, they probably would have won ten to one. They couldn't. Yeah. The Reds couldn't get a hit. Ryan today, Ridiculous. yeah, too bad for too bad for them. I'm a Yankees fan. I grew up in New York, so oh, okay. no worries okay. for me. <laughs> All but, good. Uh, as far as the LeBron thing, man, it's simple to me. I see it on every chat on Facebook on whatever. It's the old guard back in my day crowd. The '80s and '90s players walked uphill to school both ways in snow five miles. They don't want to admit. <laughs> that today's NBA is bigger, faster, stronger, more athletic. You see some of these videos of dudes guarding Jordan. They were hot garbage and wouldn't see the court nowadays. They don't want to admit that someone from their, you know, uh, that's not from their era is as talented and, and uh, dominant as LeBron but is. But the, ha- the only issue I have with that is Paul Pierce played with LeBron. These yeah, are not, well, it's not – wait, hold on, hold on, point. Ryan. I'm just going to make – it's not just – the old school guys. And Chris knows this. He's talked to a lot of NBA players who will privately say, not that they don't broadcast it, but they still pick, would rather have Kobe than right. LeBron. Yeah, I, and I agree. It's not every single guy, but I think you guys made the point earlier. Paul Pierce went head to head with him in the playoffs and has reason, you know, just like Isaiah and Michael hated each other back when they were going at it in the playoffs. So, it's not everybody. It's not an end-all, be-all okay. answer, but I see it all the time online. People arguing, you know, they'll never admit that the players now are, are bigger. You know, Kevin Durant seven one and could play point guard. Patrick Ewing is the same size as Durant, and he couldn't handle the ball. Like, I mean, that's just one example. All right, that's a good call. He, oh, he went a little it. hard on the old school cats as far as their skills, right. <laughs> or lack. Thereof, only, but the team. only difference is but, too, you know. uh, they played defense back then where you could touch people. Yeah, there's a little yeah. difference with the game. I Look, mean, the it, players are by. This is what the players today more athletic, um, shoot better, and handle the ball better. The players back then played more team ball better. Absolutely, and, it's yeah. a different game, and, yeah. and they've grown up with it differently. It doesn't mean that 
if Michael Jordan came up in this era where you couldn't touch him defensively and they shot more threes, he wouldn't have shot more threes, Chris? He would have shot the, the three well. Exactly. You know, he'd he'd no been, I'm not saying he would have been Klay Thompson. He would have been above average. And he that's why he could have averaged 40. Like you say, it couldn't touch him? Really? Easy as it is to get to the basket now? Right. You can't touch anybody. You used to be able to have a, a, a hand on his back, an open hand. And then hand, when you got and to then the it basket, went to a bent. it was six, seven dudes in the paint. Right. So we don't want to be the oh, get off oh, my lawn. Get, hey, hey, you kids, get off right, right. my lawn. But uh, <laughs> I know we're sounding like Hey, that. you damn kids, get off my <laughs> lawn. All right, Tristan in uh, Des Moines, Iowa. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Tristan? What's going on, fellas? What's up, man? Nothing much. I just want to say I, I somewhat agree with the last caller, and uh, I feel like some of the people choose Kobe because he's a tweener, right? So he played a little bit with Jordan. He's a little older, so they have that preference. But when you hear Kenny Smith, uh, Charles Barkley, some of these older players who disrespect LeBron but not put him in the top ten, I'm starting to feel like their era is feeling a little threatened because you got new players coming in, KD, LeBron, Kyrie, all those players coming in that are going to be removing some of these players from the top and also, you know, kind of discrediting like a Kenny Smith in his era, so he's just trying to stay relevant. No, nah, look, if they do, I think, Rob, they'll do the top 75. That'll be the next team, uh, which would be around 2022, I think. You know, we'll see what things are like at that point. But if that day... All the top 50 guys might not make the top 75. You know? Yeah, I don't know. Because you, it's going to be t- – but if they do a top I don't, 50, I don't, I don't th- think they'll do a top 50. I think 75 because it'll be 75 years, like they did 50 at 50 years. Right. If they did a top 50 again, Rob, definitely a lot of those top 50 won't be in it. No, they, it would change because you'd have yeah. to add some of these newer yeah, stars these, these and somebody, somebody has to come out. I mean, yep. somebody would have to come out. There's no doubt about it. Uh, let's go to Gregory in Birmingham. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Gregory? Oh, how you gentlemen doing? Doing What's good. What's up, man? That's uh, great, man. We appreciate the work y'all doing and, and thank the thank voices you. that you uh, that you put out for the for the sports and people and everything. Uh, just uh, coming on LeBron James, I think he's uh, he's underappreciated, and I think he's I think he's the goat now because you're looking at ten finals appearances. This guy makes teammates better. He's uh, like y'all said earlier. I mean, this guy has carried teams that you don't even know the, na- you don't even remember the names of the guys, you know. But I think a lot of these players now they're either jealous, or and they just underappreciate him. It's disrespectful, you know. But my so only better is, than Jordan, even though he's lost six finals. I, I I just find that I think winning is a major factor when you're talking about because it's not just. Po- compiling stats and and people act like Jordan doesn't have stats. Right, he's the all time <laughs> right. leading. Like like uh, he just won six. That's it. Right, he won six, but he does, he, sc- he ten years in a row the scoring leader. Chris, he's the all time uh, right. Then he have the highest scoring average. Yeah, uh, in the postseason all, all time of all time and, and regular I mean, season too. Right, even I over mean, Wilt. So I think people sometimes they don't understand that Jordan has all those a lot of stats as well. It's not just the six rings. 